Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to talk about 10 things I wish I knew before starting nursing school. So without further ado, let's get this video started. <laughs> Tip number one, how do you study in nursing school? So this is crucial guys. To study in nursing school, you literally have to know the most important thing about that specific disease process or about that specific medication in order to get the answer right. For instance, guys, you have a disease process like Cushing's. What is the main actual physical manifestation in someone with Cushing's? It would probably be like truncal obesity, right? So that is one main thing you just have to answer about that disease process because you literally could not know everything about that disease process. You could know the most important things about that disease process, but it's just not physically possible to know literally everything because it's just not, unless like you're a genius and you could know that. But anyway, tip number two, make nursing school friends because it's very important. Having nursing school friends really comes in so handy because sometimes you're gonna forget an assignment that's due or even other times they can say, by the way, the teacher said, Wink, wink, remember the specific uh, question on the exam that might be on it, and guess what? On exam day, it, the same question that they said that was gonna be on it is on the exam. Because nursing school friends literally got your back. So I went to the LPN program, and that was one year, and we had a group chat on what's up. I'll put a link down below so you guys are able to look at it and check it out because it really comes in handy. So basically, my what's up group chat, literally like whatever there was assignments do, whatever we needed to study for an exam we would be like hey guys what are you guys studying for this exam and some students would say this is what i'm studying this is what i'm studying this is what the teacher said would be on the exam and honestly all those information really helps you pass an exam so use it to your advantage like honestly and even now guys i'm in the rn program i'm literally about to graduate in about three weeks we did the same exact thing we literally have a whatsapp group chat and it really comes in handy because they got your back and honestly like why not use it number three this is very important be organized if you're not organized you're not gonna get anywhere to be honest with you as a nursing student you have to make sure you have a calendar if you don't have a calendar get out get out go go get out of my channel I'm just kidding. So guys, literally, like you have to be organized because you don't know when assignments are gonna be due. You don't know when exam is gonna be, you know, when is the exam? Like you won't know information like that. You can't keep everything in your head. You may have been able to do that for the prerequisites, but in nursing school, that is just not possible. So big tip, just get a calendar. Make sure you plan out everything that's gonna be on the syllabus on your planner so you know when things are due, you know what to expect when. So just that's very, big 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 in nursing school tip number four do not quit nursing school can be very overwhelming it can be very depressing at times honestly because it just like it's just so much information situation where i'm like like I, like i don't know what to do i feel so stressed i've been studying this whole week for this exam but i don't know if i'm still ready like don't quit guys like at the end of the day you may be um taking an exam and basically you pass this exam like get a 90 and you're like, whoa, I didn't expect that out of myself because more times than not, that will happen. That's been my like situations in the past. Like I've been in the LPN program and I remember stressing so much, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like I want to quit. And literally guys, I take that exam and I get a good score. But there are some exams where I feel great about it and I take the exam and I come out with a horrible score. But you know, like that's normal, that's nursing school. Literally you have to just like, you know, you know get over it really fast unfortunately i hate to say that get over it and just bounce back up and take the next exam and that's the way to do it especially in nursing school you have to have tough skin like you really have to tip number five failing is okay this is piggybacking on the top tip number four because honestly failure is normal as nursing school you may fail an exam but that doesn't mean you fail the program just that one exam that just that one disease process for instance, the disorders for endocrine disorders, that's the worst. That was my worst topic ever. I hated it. Literally, it was just like too overwhelming. It was too much information, so little time. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna pass this section of the semester. And sometimes it happens. Like, luckily I passed it, but I barely passed it. 
But at the end of the day, I passed it. Literally, failure is okay. Failure happens. Failure happens to everyone in life. And just basically don't overthink it. Tip number six. This sounds kind of weird, but how to deal with professors. Every single nursing professor is different. Some of them will help you till they can't help you anymore. Some of them will try to help you fail the class, unfortunately. I've had some professors that were just like so evil for no reason. I'm like, why? But it happens, so you just have to know how to deal with that specific professor to their liking, so that way you're able to pass the class because after that semester is over, you won't see them again. Tip number seven, it is okay to miss out on life. You're in nursing school, you don't have time to be celebrating your best best friend's birthday. You don't have time to be doing this. You don't have time to be doing that. Like at the end of the day, you're here to pass this class or pass this you know year basically and get your RN license because you're gonna sacrifice two, three years of your life so you can get the RN degree and you can start enjoying your life officially. But sometimes you will miss out on things in life and that is okay. Tip number eight. Repetition, repetition, repetition. This is very important. I know it sounds weird, but in nursing school, things that you learn in fundamentals will come back to you in advanced med search, or it'll come back to you in pharmacology or this and that. It sounds weird, but it really is true. For instance, diabetes. Diabetes will come back to hunt you in the butt over and over and over again, even in the clinical setting. So make sure you know things that come up out of your professor's mouth more than once or more than twice and just be like hmm maybe i should pay attention to that because it will come back to haunt you unfortunately tip number nine nursing school is not the same as nursing in real life you will see it in clinical settings because you will see it that's all i have to say to be honest with you because nursing school literally prepares you by book or the by what the book says because that's not how real life goes Real life is completely different than how it is in the school. As a nursing student, when you're learning what's in the book, it shows you the perfect scenario, the perfect situation, but in real life, it's just not that way. Tip number 10, this is big, this is huge. It's okay to feel overwhelmed because nursing school is very overwhelming, it's tiring, it's exhausting. It really pushes you to the limit. But this is why you need to get a calendar or a planner because at the end of the day, if you have everything scheduled out to do at certain times, it will come in handy to the point where you're not gonna be feeling so overwhelmed. And if you feel overwhelmed, sometimes it's just good to take a break because you need that mental like break, or you know what I mean? So take that mental break and just basically go from there to be honest with you.